seems like a nice neighborhood and it's a nice day today. So I want to go explore the neighborhood of Centro. There's a reason. It's kind of a sad reason. This beautiful little plaza right here, Plaza Pringles. Shopping del Siglo, Century Shopping Center. So, it is with a heavy heart. Uh, I don't know. This is something I did not prepare for. I think we take these things outside and we lay them to rest. Welcome back, everybody. We're here, back again in Rosario, Argentina. And it's a beautiful sunny day. We're out on the streets. And today, I want to go explore the neighborhood of Centro is like the center, historic center, but also the commercial center of Rosario, Argentina. So come along. Thanks for clicking on the video. If you want to help out the channel and help it grow, I really would appreciate it. Click on the like button down there, the subscribe button, and the little bell next to it to be notified for when new videos drop. It really helps the channel grow because it's going to help the YouTube algorithm recognize this content and spread it to other YouTube viewers. If you'd like to support the channel monetarily, I would appreciate that as well. You can leave a super thanks by clicking this thanks button here and give a small donation to the channel. I appreciate your support. So back to the video. Enjoy. Now the reason I want to go to this commercial center, there's a, there's a reason. It's kind of a sad reason. My shoes, which you will notice feature in my profile picture, shoes that I brought with me from the United States that have made it all the way through uh, four countries and several cities, walking around to see all kinds of really cool stuff. Uh, they are unfortunately dying. As you can see from here, the soles are, uh, are wearing out and right here on the seam, it's starting to rip. And these things aren't gonna last much longer. So it is with a heavy heart that we need to go buy a new pair of shoes. So uh, normally, in uh, videos like this, we're going around and we're seeing, you know, important historical stuff or like, uh, you know, like um, museums and things like that. But uh, today, we're just going to go explore the neighborhood of Centro, buy a new pair of shoes. But before we do that, I'm very hungry. I want to go get lunch. Just nearby, there is a, uh, there are a few restaurants that are uh, bodegones. Bodegon is like uh, a restaurant that serves like um, home style, homemade uh, Argentinian food. Very typical, uh, but I haven't gone to very many of them. And I want to check this one out and I want to show you guys what it's like. So let's go there first. We'll go get a nice lunch then we'll head over to Centro and we'll poke around a little bit. We'll do some shopping and uh, I think it'll make for a nice relaxing change of pace on this channel we'll uh, we'll have a nice relaxing day together here's a spot right here across the street goros go, goros tarzu goros tarzu anyway it's like a little neighborhood spot on the corner i see some people in there having lunch it's the early afternoon it's a good time to go in and uh check it out we'll get a delicious meal uh before we go into centro and explore a little bit more place inside is nice, Not nothing too fancy. It's nice, it's homey, you feel comfortable when you're sitting inside. And you can see here from the menus that they have a pretty decent sized menu. Uh, one of the things they have is Carlitos, which is really interesting. It's a thing that I've only seen here in Rosario. It's like a, a toasted layered sandwich, it's very cool. They have other sandwiches as well. They have um, sandwiches de miga, which is like a, almost like a tea sandwich. And then they have what we're gonna get, which is a tortilla. And now we've talked about tortillas in a previous video, our video from uh, Santelmo Market. And the tortillas in Argentina are different than what you would know as a tortilla if you're from the United States. Uh, tortilla here is, or tortilla, is uh, like more like a, an omelet. It looks kind of like this. It's a big, um, like almost like a frittata. And the one that I got had um, a selga in it, a selga which is like uh, charred because Honestly, I needed some, some green vegetables. So it's a very simple meal. It came with bread on the side. Um, delicious. All right, that was very good, actually. Very delicious. It's a, it's a very simple, simple dish. The tortilla, or the like Argentine tortilla. Basically like a big frittata, or uh, um, yeah, like a frittata basically, with eggs, 
they make them with a lot of different stuff. I got acelga because I haven't had a lot of green vegetables recently and I needed some, but they also make them with like potatoes and onions, lots of different ways to make it. Uh, and they're all very delicious, but that thing was gigantic. And uh, I <laughs> definitely could not eat all of that in, uh, in one sitting. So we got some leftovers and uh, luckily we're actually very close, like pretty close to the apartment. That restaurant's pretty close to the apartment where we're staying. So I'm gonna be able to just go over there, drop these off real quick. Then we'll hop on a bus, we'll head into Centro and we'll check it out. All right, we're all set. We dropped off our leftovers, had a little bathroom break, got ourselves a drink of water. Important to stay hydrated, people. No joke, stay hydrated. In fact, if you've been sitting around watching YouTube videos for a while, just pause it right now. Pause it, go get a drink of water. We'll be here when you get back. Anyway, we're here at the bus stop, got our Subay card, and uh, the good thing about um, Rosario is uh, they use Subay card for the uh, public transportation. Just like Buenos Aires, and just like Mendoza, I think there's a couple other cities also um, in Argentina they use it. Now, I think the ultimate goal for the Subay system is that they're gonna use the same card in every city in Argentina across the country. That would be amazing, amazing. That level of organization and simplicity for people that use public transportation would just be great. Um, you know, there are some cities we've been to where there are multiple cards just within the city, right? Like Cuenca, there's a different card for the buses and a different card for the trams. Uh, Lima, Lima has three different cards that you can use and some of them work for some things and not other things. It's very disorganized. But here in, um, in uh, Argentina, they're really trying to like keep things organized, which is kind of cool. So I think I think our bus shows up in like uh, I don't know ten more minutes, and then we'll head uh, we'll head to Centro. We'll see what it's like, because I'm I'm honestly I've I've been through there before, just like on a bus trying to get to another place, and never stopped though. Never stopped and actually walked around on foot to see what the the neighborhood is like. So we're still here waiting for our bus. Um, you know, one thing to point out: there's actually different districts in Rosario, right? Rosario has six different districts. There's like Centro, North, South, West, uh, Northwest, and Southwest. There's no East District, because if you go East, you're just in the river. Um, but there's, even though there's only six districts, and one of those districts is called Centro, right? District, Centro District. There are a lot more neighborhoods within the districts, right? So there's actually a neighborhood called Centro, and that's like the Central Commercial Neighborhood within the Centro District. So even though we're staying technically in Centro District, sort of to the edge, um, we, uh, we're not staying in that Centro neighborhood. So there's a, it's important to make a distinction. All right, we've arrived. Short bus ride here to El Centro. Barrio El Centro. As you can see, we're here on, uh, what's the name of the street? Rioja, I think the street is. Very, very busy commercial street. Lots of shops, basically, some of the streets, I would say, I think like the streets that go north-south through the neighborhood are more uh, residential. There are some shops on them, but there's these east-west streets that run through this neighborhood. Lots and lots of shops. The whole area is like a commercial district. It's a pretty large neighborhood, and it's definitely the place that everybody comes to go shopping. Um, lots of different stores, all different types. And the place that we're going, well, the place we're going first, is uh, there's actually like an outlet store right around here because I am uh, am cheap and outlet stores are also cheap. So hopefully I can get like a good pair of shoes that are maybe like a couple of seasons old, right? Uh, that are like leftover. Some leftover shoes for a cheap price. I'd be fine with that. I'd be totally fine with that. Also around here, there are a couple of actual like malls full on um, malls that you can go into, tons of shops in there, and sort of dotted around the edge of the neighborhoods, uh, there's like some parks too, so you can enjoy a nice, uh, a nice sit in the park with maybe like a, a coffee or um, or like a mate. Yeah, nice. Seems like a nice neighborhood, and it's a nice day today, so it's a good day to walk around. All right, let's find this outlet store because I'm really. Uh, 
I really gotta get a new pair of shoes, guys. Like, no joke. Honestly, the part where it's like, uh, the shoe is kind of ripping on the seam, I've noticed that uh, if I step in a puddle or something, like water goes in my shoe. So it's full on, it's full on time to get, to get new shoes. All right, I think this is a store actually. Oh yeah, here we go. Outlet, Outlet Rosario. And uh, oh, I see tons of shoes. All right, let's check it out. All right, we're inside, look at this place. Insane amount of shoes. And the problem is, this is a problem. I haven't bought shoes yet in Argentina. And the sizes I know for sure are different in Argentina because they're showing like 42, 41. These sizes are showing 40.5. So we gotta do a real quick calculation on what size we actually need because look, 44 here is an 11 men's. I'm a 13 in the US, right? Size 13. So I guess, we need something like a, a more than a 44, 43, we probably need like a 46. All right, let's, let's look around. Let's look around in the 46s and we'll get ourselves a big old shoe. Well, unfortunately, we were unable to find shoes that work for us in that store. There were a lot of shoes in there. There were a lot of athletic shoes, most of them were like running shoes and, uh, and whatnot, which it's okay, but the problem with me is I got big feet. I'm a size 13 in uh, the United States, so there's always, whenever you go to a shoe store for me, like there's not a lot to choose from. And uh, I also want a shoe that's a little bit wide, because my feet are a little bit wide, and uh, also one that's like good for walking, and running shoes and walking shoes are not really the same, right? Running shoes are usually very stiff. Um, they provide a lot of like, there's not a lot of cushion and they're the walking shoes like shoes that are specifically designed for walking around a lot which I'm doing of course they're they're kind of different they're a little squishier a little softer and that's really what I'm looking for and they just didn't have them in there so unfortunately even with all of that selection we're gonna have to go somewhere else I mean honestly normally I have this problem in the United States too honestly normally when I buy shoes I just buy them online I go to Zappos and uh, I buy them online because you can very, very easily get exactly the kind of shoes you want uh, with like exactly the size and the width that you need. So I don't know. Hopefully we'll be able to find some somewhere else in this neighborhood. I'm gonna go up another block and there's actually one of those malls I was talking about and we'll go in the mall and see what they got there. All right, we're here. Shopping Del Siglo Century Shopping Center. We may be able to find what we're looking for in here. In fact, there's some shoes right here. Hopefully there's more than one shoe store in here. We'll be able to find some, some of what we're looking for. Although this looks like this is maybe all women's shoes. No, there's a man. That's Lionel, Lionel Messi. And if it's good enough for him, it's good enough for us. Let's go take a look. This is a nice little mall. That shoe store unfortunately didn't have my size, which we're getting used to it at this point. <laughs> but uh, like I said, this is a nice little mall actually. There's a little Martinez Cafe over here, which is like a chain cafe in Argentina. And uh, there's a good amount of stores in here. I think it goes up like three floors. And um, hmm, I do have some shoes here. This is the problem though, for like a clothing store that has a few pairs of shoes, they're not gonna have my size. I know they're not gonna have my size. So we may have to keep looking i think we'll go upstairs real quick and see if there's um any more shops up here i think up here though it may just be like well i don't know let's look oh yeah here we go this looks like an athletic store we may be able to find the shoes in here let's take a look all right struck out again that place had uh all different types they had pumas adidas nikes filas and out of all of them, the only ones that they had in my side, there were like two pairs. I tried them both on, they weren't very comfortable. So, we move on. We move on potentially to this place, which has some like brand shoes of their own brand. What is this, Budapest? I guess we could try it. Well, that place, no good either. The only largest size they had was 45 Argentina. 
which we're actually looking for like a 47 Argentina. That's basically what we need. And there are not a lot of places that have that. If they do have it, they have, you know, like one, basically, one kind of shoe. And if I don't like it, if it doesn't, it's not comfortable, or like, you know, for whatever reason, it's not wide enough, then I can't really wear it. I think this mall is gonna be a bust. Although, it is, it is quite a nice mall. It's got a nice atrium in the middle. And, uh, Oh, see, sí, no, no puedo. No, no se puede. Oh, okay. Muchas gracias. Well, not only were we unsuccessful in finding shoes that fit us in that mall, the security guard told us we can't film in there. So, that's the end of that. I'm gonna keep looking around this neighborhood though, because look, I mean, honestly, if there's anywhere in Rosario that we're gonna be able to get these, like an actual pair of shoes that's comfortable, that fits our weirdly sized feet, uh, it's gonna be around here. This is gonna be the spot somewhere in this like commercial central district. But what I think I need to do is I need to do a little more research because the places that I had planned originally to check, my plan A and my plan B, uh, those have both been busts. So I'm gonna find like a little cafe or something and do a little more research and see if we can find like a plan C, plan D, and maybe even a plan E. And after that, I don't even know what we're gonna do. While we're coming up with a backup plan, we can take a look real quick at this beautiful little plaza right here, Plaza Pringles. Really nice, very nice little plaza right in the middle of the city. It's like a little playground, little playground for the kids. There's some street vendors, some, some vendors selling different, um, you know, artisan goods and jewelry and whatnot. Nice little fountain in the middle. Beautiful. It looks like, let's see. Is there a little cafe around here? There was a Havana cafe back there that I could maybe go to. Havana is like a chain um, cafe. They have coffee and um, they're, they're actually pretty famous for their chocolate and their alfajores. Um, in fact, our friend Charlie XP gave us a gift of some Havana alfajores, and they were very delicious. Thank you once again, Charlie XP. Link to his channel down in the description. All right, now we gotta get serious here. We've seen Plaza Pringles. Well, it looks like there's a little, uh, we're getting distracted here. Looks like there's a little pedestrian walk up here. I really wanna go check that out. Okay, look. We're gonna take a little sidetrack. We're gonna go through here to this pedestrian walk. We're gonna take a look through there. There'll probably be a little cafe. It'll be nice. Then we'll sit down and we'll really try and figure this out. Because look, I think if I'm not able to find the shoes here, uh, like, I don't know. I have a feeling it's going to get harder and harder to find them. Uh, once I leave Argentina, which, you know, eventually I will be doing. I will be leaving Argentina eventually. I'm not gonna stay here forever. Um, I only have so much time on my, uh, my visa. And the reason I say that it's gonna be harder after I leave Argentina is because, I'll be really honest, in Argentina, um, there are some people who are big and tall. A, a, a larger percentage I have found of people are big and tall in Argentina, whereas in other parts of South America, I literally feel like I am literally the tallest person in the entire country when I'm there. When I was in Ecuador, I did not ever, not once for three months, almost three months, I did not ever see anyone in three different cities who was as tall as me, like not even close. So, hmm, I have a feeling going to another part of South America when I eventually move on from Argentina, it might be tricky. It might be tricky finding um, size 13 US shoes. And at, at that point, these shoes are just gonna be in really bad shape by then, right? Like they'll be completely worn out. Uh, maybe we'll have to like look online. I don't know. This is something I did not prepare for. I was not prepared. And that, I think, is part of the reason why I wanna make this video specifically 
It's because, like, look, when you're slow traveling like I am, which is, you know, basically going to a country for a month or two or three and just basically staying there as long as your tourist visa will allow you to stay, um, st stuff comes up, right? I had to get a new pair of glasses in, uh, in Ecuador. And I did, and it was fine, and it worked out. But uh, this was something I didn't plan for. Because I realized these current shoes, the shoes that I'm wearing, the shoes that you recognize from the profile picture of the channel, uh, I ordered them online, and I ordered them like custom. They're a weird size, and they fit great. And the likelihood of me finding something that fits as like as nice as these do and is also like comfortable to walk around in it's not very likely here i'm realizing and it may not it'll probably be even less likely like once we get outside of uh outside of argentina so uh, i don't know I think i'm gonna go this is a blast this is the same um like store i think that we saw in the mall but this one looks like it's a little bigger so maybe we'll just go in here real quick since we're here and we'll take a look. Okay, once again, nothing in that store. There was one pair, one pair that they had in the right size and they were very, very hard and uncomfortable. But um, because people in Argentina are so freaking nice, uh, the woman who was helping me, she pointed me across the street here, right? Pointed me to a competitor. Can you believe it? That's how nice people are. And this place, Sport 78. And she said that they may have shoes in here that are like specifically for walking. So, I think we're on our like fifth or sixth store at this point. Let's check it out. All right, we found a store. And they had shoes that actually fit. And they were wide enough. They're New Balance, which are pretty good for walking, I guess, but the only problem is the soles are a little bit hard, right? They're like kind of uh, stiff, which is a problem. It's a problem because when we're walking around a lot, we need a lot of cushion, honestly. Otherwise, it's gonna mess up your back, right? Your back, your knees, ankles, everything. So, what, uh, the guy who helped me out, his name was Edran. Anyway, he told me that like, right down this way, about uh, like, down to the next street, take a left. There's a place called El Rey del Calcin... Calcintos, Calcitos? It's basically the king of socks. Uh, I can't remember exactly the word. I think it's Calcitos, his socks. Anyway, it's the king of socks. And he said that they sell insoles there too. Plantillas, he said, they're called. And uh, maybe we can buy like a soft, cushy insole to put in each of the shoes. And then that'll be good enough, right? That'll be good enough. Because honestly, I was talking to him uh, when we were in the store, and he's kind of a tall guy too. And I said, yo man, like, I've been traveling around South America, and like, Argentina, I think, is the only place where I can get shoes this size because, like, people are just smaller in other countries. And I said, you know, like, I was in Ecuador, and he was like, oh yeah, I was in Ecuador too for a year. And he's like, I said, yeah man, like, we're, <laughs> Like, we're, we were the tallest people there. And he's like, yeah, yeah. He said, you know, you won't be able to get a shoe size bigger than like 42, Argentina 42, which is like a size 10, right? He's like, yeah, you won't be able to find anything bigger than that in like Ecuador. And I told him, yeah, I guess that's why I gotta buy them here. Gotta buy them here in Argentina while I'm here. So let's check this place out. El Re de Calci, Calci something. All right, we'll find this place. Look, we'll find this place and we'll see if they have the insoles we're looking for. El Re del Calzado. And it looks like a little shoe repair joint. But I think they might have what we're looking for. All right, so there we go. We did it. New shoes. Whew, man, we had to go to six stores to find new shoes in our size and after that we had to go to a seventh store to get comfortable insoles for the shoes but walked around a little bit and uh they're pretty comfy they're pretty comfy they're comfy enough 
that uh, I think it's going to be time. And the last thing we'll do here in the video is we will retire. We will retire our old shoes. The shoes that are, that will be forever preserved like that in the profile picture of our YouTube channel. So I think we take them outside and uh, I guess we leave them outside by the, by the dumpster. I don't want to put them in the dumpster because there might be somebody, you know, who needs them and maybe they see them there by the dumpster and they can use them. And maybe they will continue to live on here in Argentina. But we have a new pair of shoes. So, uh, I know this video was a little, um, I don't know, like a little different <laughs> than what we normally do. But, you know, not every day is going out and seeing like famous historical monuments or things like that. Some days when you're doing the slow travel thing, it's just a day that you need to go out and buy new shoes. And this ended up taking actually a lot more time than I thought it was going to take. We had to go to like six stores to get these. Um, but hopefully that'll get, just give you a little like a window into, you know, what like a typical normal day is like when you're slow traveling around the world. So I think we take these things outside and we lay them to rest to end the video. We lay you to rest here, shoes. You've, uh, you've never let us down, but it's time to move on and thank you for all you did. Well, folks, I just went down to the corner to get myself some empanadas from the pizzeria, and I went past where we left the shoes, and they are gone. Someone picked them up. Hopefully, they are getting some good use, and they're of good use to somebody here in the city of Rosario, but that's going to be it for the video. Thanks for coming along uh, and doing a little shoe shopping with me down in Rosario Centro. Thanks for exploring the neighborhood with me. Stick around. Play more videos coming from here in Rosario, Argentina. I uh, hope you enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next one.